Hi, hello everybody, my name is Rupasolo from Curva.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add annotations to your chart. Very, very useful technique. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you two types. The first one is where you put the annotation directly on the chart. You see it here. The second one is when you, your text is longer and if you would put it in the chart it would get too crowded. So you just put numbers and then you put the text above. Okay then obviously you can click on the number and then it will filter Power BI stuff, okay? Now, how to do this? Here's the thing. None of the out-of-the-box visuals would do that. But Charticulator does. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to use Charticulator. So the first thing that you need to do is to go get more visions and get Charticulator. It's the one here. Once you have that, the first thing that we're going to do is create the line chart. Let me show you how that is done. So for us, this is the Northwind data set. We have a date. We're going to put the date in the data and then we're going to put sales. So we're going to map the sales of North Northwind like a line chart. And to do line charts in the Charticulator, what you need to do is you put the date on the X axis, you put the sales on the Y axis, and then we're going to format this a little bit. So we want to put this, the Power BI gray for the axis. So we tone it down a little bit. And then we want to go to the Y axis and do the same. So we gray it down, gray it down. And we want to change the format. So it is on the thousand mark. So we're going to, this is, D3 annotation. So it is what it is for now. This is the way Charticular team has decided to do it. So this is what we have to play with. Put it there. This is going to be a wide chart. So let's do a little bit wider. Now, how do you actually create a line chart in Charticular? It might not be very intuitive at first, but what you do is you actually drop, you know, create a scatter plot. So you drop a dot. Each of these points is one of the points in your data set, behind your data set. And what you do is connect the dots. <laughs> I mean, it's not harder than that. And now you can actually hide the dots and then you'll see the line chart. Beautiful, right? We are going to add the annotations. First, we need the data. What I did is I created an Excel chart, an Excel file, imported the data. So we have the date of the event, the comments, this is the long comments. We need the data in text format to put it in the annotation that didn't work with the text, the, you know, date as date. The event ID, the event type, the event short. So this is the comments in short form in case we want to put the events directly on the chart. If we go back to the relationships, we have a relationship between events and calendar on date, okay? Now, let's go back. And how do we do the, how do we actually map the annotations? The first thing I'm going to do is bring back the dots. And I am going to put a line. Do you remember that I had a line and then the text? This is a line. As you can see, a line for each dot appears. That is the way Charticulator works. And often it's useful, sometimes it's not. This is the not useful part. But you can hide anything in Charticulator based on another field, which is absolutely brilliant. So if we go to our event table, we're going to put event type, event short, and date text. These are the things that are going to be used to create the annotation. So there we have our link. Click on the line. This is this line. And here you say visibility. So we want to see only the items where there is an event type. Click auto update values because um, if you're filtering things, you want to make sure that it updates. And then you get rid of the, so you say show with the line for newsletter sales a big order, but not when it's blank. That's what you're saying. And look at that, so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to grade down a little bit. And now we don't need the symbol anymore. And now it starts to look a little bit neat, right? Now, we need to add text. Let's put a te text box in there. 
grab you know when you don't see the line it means that you are one of these places where there's no line so to get the line back click on a place where there's line and then move this text wait sorry <laughs> Click on a place where there is a line to show it and then grab the text and move it where you want it. Okay? And then put it up here. So we need to do the same with the text because you get a text for every single data point. We don't want that. We want the visibility applied to the event type too. So we go in there, we recognize it. Beautiful. Okay, put this down so it doesn't get out of the chart and then for the text we're going to put the date text so you drop this in here and then you see that we have our uh, text and then if you want you can add another one which is what I did then we need to move this one a little bit higher up select that one move that one up there move it here and that you want to do exactly the same thing that we did before so you go to event type to visibility it will do it and then you have the event short in there how pretty you can obviously color it and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it let's save and go back so you can see <coughs> the final work in action. How neat is this? Yeah? So the other thing that you can do is what I did here. You can actually put the event, event type and then you can actually click on here and you see the big orders, you see when you had sales, you see when you send the newsletters and this is using a highlight, right? It's one of the few times that you want to highlight instead of filter. Beautiful. Now, how do we do this thing? It's actually the exact same thing. I'm going to show you. In case you prefer to have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the text, hide the text on the line because we're not going to have that. What we're going to have is the dot instead. And we need to do the same thing as we did before. Select the symbol. The visibility needs to be conditioned by event type again. There. We're going to make these a little bit bigger. 200, that's nice. I'm going to put an orange so it just stands out from the blue. And then we're going to add in here. Pick the one that you can see. Drop a text. Put it inside and then we're going to add in there the event ID so this text is going to be mapped with event ID and again the text the same thing applies you just want to see it when there is an event type beautiful um, what else do we want to fix? And it's saying one on everything. Looking at the count event ID, it should be done summarized. And now we have the numbers, beautiful. So now I want to have the numbers a little bit more bold. So what I'm going to do is on here, which is the number event ID this is actually the event short it's good to actually give names to these things so event uh, date so you know what they are afterwards so event ID what we're going to do is to change the style type to a real black and then we're going to put it white so you get contrast go back now we have our beautiful numbers in there. So what we need to do is when somebody clicks on the numbers, they actually get a table, right? So you want to create that table. You go to uh, events and then you go to date, 
probably event ID first. And you get the comments in there. You could actually do this as a card if you don't want to see all the events at the same time. And then quickly make this a little bit more pretty. So now when somebody clicks on here, you get the annotation up there. So ladies and gentlemen, this is all it takes and it's such a useful technique. So make sure to download the chart creator, you start creating these charts and you start helping your users understand the data. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again next week with another video. Until then, take care.